Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited. Today is October 1st, today is Saturday, and I'm going to be doing a Could This Be Meta for Karibos. Karibos was always a Could This Be Meta that a lot of people recommended me to do. From here on out, I will be accepting only one fan-made submission per Could This Be Meta spot, and only one lucky person gets chosen. Out of the five cards that I'd be tackling, one will be fan-made. I personally, going into this Karibo support, I personally chose to just make single great Karibo cards instead of making a family of Karibo cards that came into an archetype because the deck doesn't really have a necessary cycle, nor does the deck have a necessary engine to have a direction to where to go. So instead of just making cards that forces them to do something that they're not, I just wanted to make five great Karibo cards that almost everybody in the community would hopefully like to play. Liking the video overall makes the video grow, makes the video more popular. The more popular I see the video, the more I know that you guys would like to see this continue. So please do it. That's the way you help the channel grow. Thank you. Getting on into this, I'm going to be tackling my favorite one first. The first one I made was Curry Blast. It's a dark level 1 fiend effect tuner monster with 300 attack and 200 defense, pretty standard. And his effect is when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you could special summon this card from your hand, choose any level from 1 to 12. This card will become that level until the end of your opponent's next end phase and cannot be destroyed by battle. Now, a lot of people at face value are going to be like, what the fuck? That's like insane. I made it so it could be used with XYZ summoning and being a great ass tuner. I also wanted it not to be a direct attack. I just wanted it to be like your attack. You just summon it, can't be destroyed by battle. You have an impenetrable wall. I thought that going into this, Karibo, at the end of the day, I want to stress this a lot. Karibo is one of those iconic cards that everybody knows. Everybody loves Karibo and everybody knows Karibo, so why not make Karibo a fucking unbalanced mess? I would love to see Karibo be a fucking OP card. And that's why I look at Curry Blast and I say, like, you know, if this card was like the best tuner or the best XYZ material or defender, why not? Because he's so fucking iconic to the game. If any newcomer would see this, they'd be like, this is the best Karibo that I've ever seen. I would love to play that. And that's that's why I made Kariba last. The next card, Kariba level 2, he's a dark level 2 fiend, question mark attack and question mark defense. His effect, this card cannot be normal summon slash set. This card can only be special summoned by attributing a face up Curie monster. This card gains 800 attack and defense for each Curie monster in your graveyard. If this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you could add one Curie spell or trap card from your deck and add it to your hand. You can only control one face of Karibo level two. We've always had the Wing Karibo level nine and level 10, but we've never had a Karibo level two. And I also liked that he would actually become a little bit of the King of Skull Servants for Karibo. My friend Pikapow22 told me to drop his attack stat from 1,000 to 800, seeing that a thousand would be a little bit much when everyone could just dump these days and dump a shit ton of Karibos in the graveyard so easily. He also talked me off the ledge, also adding the last effect, adding it that you can only control one. And I said, you know, that makes it pretty balanced. It kind of balances out his great effect that I gave him. You could always just get a Karibo token off the field, special summon this card. He gains a decent amount of attack points. And if he's destroyed, you get a spell and trap out of him. There's no backlash to this card in the slightest. And at the end of the day, he's much stronger than any Karibo that you'll summon outside of any of the other level ones that you could bring out. I look at Karibo level two and I just see progress. I just see something that will get the job done. And I thought he could have maybe been... A Tint better, but I think for a standalone great card, I don't see anything wrong with him, and I think he's a great card. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I love draw power, so why the fuck not make a Karibo based draw engine card? Why the fuck not? So here's Fortune Karibo, he's a dark level one fiend, 300 attack, 200 defense, same old, same old. His effect is when you take damage, you can discard this card from your hand to gain life points equal to the damage you took. After this card's effect resolves, you can banish this card from your graveyard to draw two cards. Everyone these days needs draw power, so why not have a Karibo draw base card? Why the f not? You take damage, then you activate its effect, you gain back the life points you took, and then while his effect resolves in the graveyard, you banish him, draw two. You can't have him in the graveyard in, you know, just by being milled, and then draw two. That would be unfair. I don't know how the community would feel about Fortune Karibo. I think it's just fun because everyone loves to draw cards, so why the hell not make it Karibo based? The next card. Shining Karibo, he's a level 1 fairy, 300 attack, 200 defense. His effect, 
When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you could special summon this card from your hand. During the turn, this card is special summoned. Monsters you control cannot be destroyed, and you take no damage for the rest of the turn. While this face-up card is on the field, your opponent can only select Shen Karibo as an attack target. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Now, this card was really fun. It was like a paying homage to Wing Karibo, but better. And at the end of the day, being able to take no damage, have a destructible wall, because this is basically like Curie Blast, because Curie Blast was like, you can't destroy me by battle, but this card would have to be destroyed twice, protects multiple monsters, and at the end of the day, if you have two Shining Karibos, your opponent can't attack either of them. I thought that that was a little nice addition, and overall, it's a great Karibo card, and better than most Karibos that exist already. And our last entry is our fan submission from our lucky chosen winner Scott and he made Curry Fighter which is a dark rank 1 fiend with 0 attack and 2000 defense. His effect he takes two or more level 1 monsters. This card gains 1,000 attack for each XYZ material attached. If this card is XYZ summoned with a Karibo monster, then you could activate this effect. You can detach one XYZ material from this card, then special summon one Karibo monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can only activate this effect of Curry Fighter once per turn. I thought this one was the most unique, very different, being able to also gain attack points by putting a lot of level 1s together, have him possibly be 5,000 attack points or 4,000 attack points would be a really cool to see and I think the ability to summon any Karibo monster ignoring its summoning conditions would be pretty fair because Karibos don't really have anything going for it. These were the five Karibo cards that me, Pika Power 22 made and the fan submission. I hope you guys really, really enjoy the Karibo cards that we made. Yet again, we didn't make them as a family, but overall great cards in general. The point of this segment is to be, could this be meta? So if you in any which way even said that one of these Karibo cards could be meta or be insanely busted, then me, Pika Power 22 and Scott, we all did our jobs. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video and you never know, maybe one day Konami can make one of these awesome some Karibo cards and we'll be all playing a Karibo tech in our decks. So I hope you all enjoy the video and until November you will see another Could This Be Meta. So don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Leave your comments below about a Karibo card that you would have made or your favorite Karibo card in this bunch. See you guys later and I hope you guys all have a great day and a better tomorrow.